Okay, greetings everyone, Pastor Brett, and I'm just going to read um, a little bit from Proverbs chapter 2, and this is for our brother um, in the Eastern Black Country that cannot get a copy of the Word, um, neither can he download it on uh, uh, the computer uh, because he's uh, being tightly monitored, but... We'll let him get a, a bit of the word here this evening. And uh, um, we got word that he may be able to get a, a Bible soon. So um, we're praying and uh, just keep praying that God will open the doors and give us an address um, to send him a Bible. Amen. And uh, we'll thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. In Jesus' name, Father, bless this time as we read your word and strengthen us and encourage us, Father God. Help us to be what you want us to be. Thank you, Father God, that we can have a copy of your word here, Lord. And I pray, Father, that you would bless those that cannot. Bless them, Father God, and help them to feel as though they have the word, Lord, deep within them so much so that in times of trial and uh, great want, Hallelujah. We'll feel satisfied and full. I thank you, Lord, and praise you for your word. And I pray that it would give us all that we need to be all that we need to be, Father. For your glory and honor, in Jesus' name. Mm, hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 2. Excuse the shadow. Try to read over the shadow. And it says, my son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, make your ear attentive. Hallelujah. Make your ear attentive. I'm going to try to move this light. Oh, there we go. A little bit. That's a little better. Make your ear attentive uh, to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding. For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom and, and um, for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice and equity and every good course. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will guard you, understanding will watch over you, to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who delight in doing evil and rejoice in the perversity of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways to deliver you from the strange woman, from the adulteress who flatters with her words, that leaves the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God, for her house sinks down to death and her tracks lead to the dead, none who go to her, Again, none who go to her again, nor do they reach the paths of life. None who go to her return again, nor do they reach the paths of life. So you walk in the way of good men and keep um, to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land, and the blameless will remain in it, but the wicked will be cut off 
from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you for your word. Thank you. Hallelujah. So we'll scan over one more time. Let's see if we can get it without a shadow. And we'll scan over it one more time. And there it is. There is Proverbs 2. Hallelujah. The pursuit of wisdom brings security. Amen. How, how much security do you find in the wisdom of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be secure, my brother. Be secure in the wisdom of God's holy word. And we love you and we're praying for you and... Uh, Man, as soon as we get that address, we're going to get that Bible to you, too. God bless you, man. We love you, and uh, um, yeah, we're praying for you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen.